Welcome back to my channel, I'm James. Today I've got a brand new and exciting episode in my very popular ongoing video series with a brand new decade we're gonna be diving into in my top 90s movies on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. Now, in this video series, these are all must-own, must-buy 4K releases. To qualify in this, they couldn't be ones that were horrible or poor or had poor testing results or were not amazing transfers or didn't have great sound on them. So, these were all must-own, must-buy releases that fall into this video series. Now, this is part one of the top 90s movies, and here's why it's important to understand this. I went through and I had about a stack of 300 titles that I narrowed down and narrowed down and I actually spent three full days working on narrowing down based on box office, testing results I've had on each one, going through, watching some of them again, making sure that they were must own, must buy 4K releases. Now as I said, this is part one though. I'm doing this as a two part video and here's why. For the 90s, I was shocked at how many amazing and outstanding, not only movies with massive blockbusters there were, but also how many amazing, outstanding, must buy, must own 4Ks there were of those. So I separated this to make it so that way each video is not an hour and a half or two hours long. This is gonna be part one, and then soon I'll have part two coming out, which has the remainder of the must own, must buy 90s movies. And these are some amazing titles that you really gotta have in your collection. So to give you an example of something that did not qualify in this must own title series is Terminator 2. Now I absolutely love that James Cameron film. It was huge in the 90s. I love Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. It's one of the greatest 90s sci-fi movies of all time. I really enjoy the film, but it didn't qualify because it is not a must own, must buy 4K. The transfer was taken from the 3D version, so it lacks a lot of depth and detail. It's a very waxy image without any of the natural film grain, and that's because it was taken from the 3D version incorrectly. Well, I can tell you I do have some good news. Coming out here in the next two years, my understanding is it's being worked on by James Cameron and his studio to do a new transfer on 4K for Terminator 2 and actually for Terminator 1 as well. But those are something I'm gonna be announcing later on with cover artwork and things like that once those are shared with me. It was just shared that they are being worked on with brand new transfers, both Terminator 1 and Terminator 2, because they did realize that Terminator 2 was taken from the 3D version when it shouldn't have been. So hopefully those will be something exciting to look forward to, but Terminator 2 didn't qualify on 4K because the current 4K is not a must own 4K release. Now, if you haven't checked out any of my previous videos in this series, I've done lots of these. I've done the 80s must own movies. I've done 80s top horror movies on 4K. I've done top alternative superhero movies. I've done the top war movies on 4K. All of these different videos in this series are available right now here on this channel for you to watch and check out. They dive into different categories and different decades of films that you really need to have in your collection that are released on 4K Ultra HD with amazing either restoration, amazing sound and image quality. There is tons of them I've dived into and tested over the years so that way you get these videos with all of these top 4Ks in different genres or categories that you really need to have. Now as always I put a lot of love and care into all of these videos I create here on this channel just like I take a lot of time to compile these lists to make sure these are some amazing titles, some things maybe you didn't know about or remember, or things maybe you didn't know were on 4K. I've also done all of the work for all of you and gathered together every single one of the links for every one of these 4Ks. I post them all directly below as a pinned comment in the comment section right below every single video. Those links down there are extremely important to the creation of these videos. And I can only continue to do this always with all of you, my viewers and subscribers support through using those direct Amazon links down there below. So if you decide you want to buy any of these or add any of these to your collection that you don't already own, make sure to use those direct Amazon sale links I posted right down there below. Now to start off with one of the top 90s movie series that you must own on 4K, it's the Jack Ryan 4K Ultra HD releases from Paramount Studios. Now in this collection, you get The Hunt for Red October from 1990, 
Patriot Games from 1992 with Harrison Ford in it. Clear and Present Danger from 1994, one of my personal favorites. I absolutely love Harrison Ford's performance in it. Though I will say Hunt for Red October with Sean Connery, it's phenomenal as well. But all of the films in this got brand new 4K transfers and 4K restorations. And I can tell you, they have never looked better than in this collection. Now they are available individually as well and I will post the individual links down below as well, but they are native 4K 2160Ps. They look and sound absolutely amazing. I absolutely love this 4K box set. And in the 90s, these were some of those films you would go to see. I remember going to see them with my dad and every single one of them we enjoyed every single time. Heck, we went to see The Hunt for Red October. I think my dad took me to see that five separate times in the 90s. That's how much we really enjoyed that one. Clear and Present Danger was another big one. We went to see that one about three times. And what a great experience. What great films. Harrison Ford's amazing in those films. But this box set encapsulates all of those films. Really enjoyable box set. If you don't own it yet, this is a must-own, must-buy release of some amazing 90s films. Heck, in this box set, three of them were all released in the 90s and are really awesome action, thriller, espionage films that really get you into the characters and you really enjoy the stories and the performances. Again, great 90s films. One of my personal favorite films that me and my family love with Robin Williams in it is Jumanji from 1995. Stone Cold cult classic family film amazing special effects for the time period. Even now today, they hold up really well. I really enjoy the performance of Robin Williams, Bonnie Hunt in it. I loved Bonnie Hunt in the 90s, if you remember her. She was a great actress, went along so well with Robin Williams in this film. Overall, this film itself is one of those that if you do not own it on 4K, it is an outstanding native 4K with Dolby Atmos on it. Let me tell you the LFB on this, like when the animals are breaking through the walls and you hear the boom, 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 and all the sound moving around, the Dolby Atmos mix on this is very immersive and very enjoyable. This is one of those must-own movies from the 90s that was one of those top films that when it came out, it shocked and surprised everybody. And how amazing of a job Joe Johnston did, did with this film. And man, does it hold up well today. I absolutely love watching this film and this is the best way to experience this film. Must own, must buy 4K release. Absolutely love what Sony did with this 4K transfer. Now, you can't talk the 90s at all without talking about Keanu Reeves. You have Point Break from 1991, and you have Speed from 1994 with Sandra Bullock in it. I can tell you these are both must own, must buy 4K releases with amazing native 4K transfers, and they got very good 4K restorations. I enjoy both of these. Speed is actually one of my wife's favorite action movies from the 90s. She absolutely loves Sandra Bullock in it and Keanu Reeves. Great film, holds up wonderfully well today and this 4K release is a must buy. Same thing for Point Break. It's another great Keanu Reeves film with an action classic that really the more you watch this film, the more you find appreciation for the action, the story, and how well it blends together. And that is what I really feel like the 90s had going for it. There's so many amazing films that came out in the 90s that there's still thousands of movies from the 90s that deserve 4K restorations on 4K. And I do hope more of those are coming out and I'll be able to continue the 90s video series with a part three in the future. But for right now, there are still some amazing ones. If you haven't bought all of these, you gotta have these in your collection because you'll enjoy watching these over and over and over again as the years come. Now you obviously can't talk Keanu Reeves 1990s movies without 1999's The Matrix. Absolutely stunning and wonderful sci-fi film about going into the matrix, the difference between real life and the future and being in a computer simulation and all the resistance and fighting against the machines and what an amazing universe they built with the matrix. And the first film is still my favorite in the entire series. And let me tell you for the 4K release it got, it is an outstanding 4K restoration with the new color grading they did and the amazing Dolby Atmos audio mix. You cannot miss out on owning the matrix. Now I have the trilogy, which has all three films in it. I'll post that down below as well as each individual film. If you haven't seen them at all yet and you wanna start with the first one, I'll post them individually down there below as well, but I will tell you, this is one of the greatest sci-fi series 
ever created for films for me. I absolutely love it. I think the story builds. Yes, the first one's the best, but each one adds to it. And I enjoyed this series immensely. When I went to see it in theaters, I was blown away. I have the soundtrack still on CD. Amazing soundtrack. The acting in it, the performances, the special effects was ahead of its time. I still feel like a lot of special effects nowadays aren't even as good as what we got in The Matrix in 1999. I don't know what's happened with CGI effects nowadays, but I feel like they've really degraded over time and they don't look as good or as outstanding as they did for a lot of the films from even the 90s did. Great film, you gotta buy this and own this because this is an amazing 4K transfer. Now to reiterate the time period, just so that I make sure everyone understands the time period we're working through with this video series. For the 90s, it is anything from 1990 to 1999 only. 2000 does not count because 2000 falls into the 2000s series. So keep in mind when you're commenting down below, let me know what of these movies you have on 4K Ultra HD. What of these you don't own yet? I'm always curious what of these you've either added to your collection already or what of these you don't own yet or haven't seen. Start that conversation in the comment section below, but remember as always with this video series, Keep the comments for the movies that you're excited about, that you do own, don't own. Keep it to the 1990s, which is 1990 to 1999 only. But it's just a way that we keep it so that way when people come back and they read through the comments, they don't get confused to ones from other videos. Now, in the 1990s, Tom Hanks was huge. In the 1990s, he had Forrest Gump from 1994, and this got a great native 4K transfer with a very enjoyable Dolby Atmos audio mix. I've always really enjoyed this film. I think Tom Hanks was really doing himself a favor with his acting performance in this. Obviously, it won six Academy Awards. It's one of those films that no matter how old it gets, it applies greatly to today. Just looking at his character and the look and the way he looked at life that basically, you know, I love the life's like a box of chocolates, but anyhow, the whole character and his attitude throughout it and no matter what happened to him, he kept his attitude in the right place and I think a lot of the times we lose focus on those things. This film does a great job of teaching us basically to have a good attitude through life no matter what. And I love the film. Over and over again, I've watched it dozens of times. And it is a wonderful movie from the 90s that everybody needs to own and experience. And it really does shine a light on the joys of life, keeping your innocence, and keeping your focus on things that are wonderful in this world. And that's where I said this film really shines and is a must-own release. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to go down there, give this video a like and a thumbs up for me, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Now, talking about an animated film, Batman The Mask of the Phantasm just recently got an amazing 4K restoration. And I just recently reviewed this here on this YouTube channel. If you have not checked out my full analysis and review, you're gonna wanna watch that after you get done watching this video. But Batman Mask of the Phantasm from 1993 is one of those stunning 4K Ultra HD releases and is an amazing Batman film. Even if you love live action Batman movies, which we got a ton of those amazing films in the 90s, this one was actually an animated film, but really lived up to the essence of what Batman was, but in an animated film. Holds up wonderfully well today. Absolutely loved this new 4K restoration. It is a stunning 4K restoration. You're gonna wanna watch my full 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison analysis so you see the exact differences and what they did with this amazing 4K restoration. Stunning release that is a must own 90s movie. Another huge 90s horror film and horror series is the beginning of Anthony Hopkins' turn as Hannibal Lecter in The Silence of the Lambs. This with Jodie Foster is one of those just amazing psychological horror thrillers. Holds up amazingly well today. I did an exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison quite a while ago when Kino Lorber sent that for review. Amazing 4K release. The 4K transfer they did for this is absolutely stunning in comparison to all previous Blu-ray releases. In my video, I did an exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray to show you the differences between what the differences are between the old Blu-ray releases and this new 4K transfer. Absolutely love this film. It was a huge hit in the 90s. And Anthony Hopkins really shocked and surprised how creepy he was as Hannibal Lecter in this. Now, he obviously went on to play Hannibal Lecter in two other films after that. 
He does a great job in those as well, but I personally think this was his best performance as Hannibal Lecter, and I think Jodie Foster is amazing in this film. If you haven't checked out this film yet and gotten this on 4K, make sure to go watch my review after you get done with this video, but this is one of those must-own 90s films. Everybody needs to experience this one. This is my personal favorite of the series. Now, Bill Murray was big in the 90s with Groundhog Day, and this came out in 1993. Now, this Steelbook release is the brand new Dolby Vision transfer that Sony released with the new Dolby Vision HDR10 4K transfer that they worked on. So this is the best looking image you can get on 4K of Groundhog Day. It does have a much more stable image and it does get rid of a lot of those instabilities, fluctuations in the film grain. Overall, this is the best way ever to view Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day is one of those great 90s films Basically, he keeps repeating the same day over and over and over again, where you feel like, man, he just did that. Well, he did, and he's trying to figure out in this time loop, basically, how he's stuck in this, what caused it, why he keeps living the same day over again. It's very funny. Bill Murray is phenomenal in it. Overall, it's one of those films that I enjoy watching every year. It's just a fun time. Like, honestly, the comedy in it is really enjoyable, and it is one of those things I love time travel movies mixed together with comedy. You got a gem in this film from the 90s, and this limited edition steelbook from Sony is the best way to view it. Compared to the previous transfer that they had, that one had quite a bit of fluctuations where the screen would flash, the image just was unstable, where you'd also have a lot of fluctuations where you'd see almost waves with the film grain. All of that's gone and fixed on this, and this really is the punctuation of basically Sony saying, this is the ultimate way and the ultimate version to watch. This is the way to own it. I'll post this one down below. That way you get the new Dolby Vision transfer, not the old 4K release, because Sony's old 4K release is not as good as this one. And this is the best way to view it and own it for many years to come. Let me know if you've seen Groundhog Day. Let me know in the comment section below what of these 90s films you're a big fan of and what of these you have gotten on 4K Ultra HD. Now obviously you can't talk 90s without one of the biggest films of all time, Titanic from James Cameron. Now if you follow me here on my channel, I've reviewed this in depth with an exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison. If you have not watched that or checked that out yet, you'll want to check that out after you get done watching this review. It's somewhere around almost 36,000 views now. It's amazing how huge that's been. But Titanic was a massive film in the 90s. Actually it was the number one box office film. It still holds up very well today, showing basically the lives of fictional lives of people on the Titanic. It does have some mixture with some true story lives, but the two main characters of Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet are obviously fictional, but the things that happen around them in the story are done in such a beautiful form that today you watch this film and you think of some of the thoughts some of them had when the ship was going down. And you think, man, how would I have felt? How would I have dealt with it? And that's where I feel like this film is really engaging. It still draws people into it today. Where there's people that, honestly, when I did the review of it, were shocked because they'd never seen Titanic. And I think to myself, I thought everybody had seen it. Well, there's a lot of people out there just discovering it now. This 4K release is a stunning reference quality release. You want to show off your home reference quality Dolby Atmos home audio and your reference quality, hopefully professionally calibrated home 4K display? This is the film to do it with. You will shock and surprise everybody that watches this on your home display. Absolutely amazing restoration they did with this. You've got to own this, whether you're a fan of the film or not, just to be able to show off this reference quality 4K release, you must have this in your collection. Now, Wolfgang Peterson as a director was huge in the 90s. He had a lot of really great films. Well, a very underrated but really enjoyable film from the 90s is In the Line of Fire with Clint Eastwood in it. This is one of those films that is a really enjoyable and slick thriller. It got a kind of under the radar 4K release from Sony. Sony did a brand new 4K restoration of the original camera negatives. And it got a great brand new Dolby Atmos audio mix. This is one of those stunning 4K releases of a great 90s film. If you have not experienced this yet, think of it more in the sense of a lower scale Air Force One. Basically taken in a slick thriller form like Air Force One was, but not as big a budget, as special effects, explosions. More of a down to earth slick thriller with Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood is great in this. Obviously he plays a secret service agent 
who is protecting the president and obviously he's in the line of fire because he's trying to protect the president from an assassination. And the story builds to such a great crescendo and face off that it is one of those films if you have not checked it out or added it to your collection. This 4K Ultra HD release from Sony is an amazing 4K release that you need to have in your 90s film collection. I look forward to every single Clint Eastwood film because I love him as an actor. This is one of those that surprised me when it came out. It wasn't really talked about much. Most people have totally forgotten this was even released on 4K. Great 90s film. This is another must own 90s film. But since we're talking about Clint Eastwood, you cannot talk the 90s without talking about the Academy Award winning 1992's Unforgiven with Clint Eastwood in it. This is one of those westerns that no matter how many years go by, this one still hits me every time I watch it. The performances in it, Clint Eastwood kind of summing up all of his years playing western characters, whether it was in his western TV series all the way through all of the western films he did. I really feel like Unforgiven is kind of summing all those up, adding all the characters together, taking the best elements of every one of his previous western films, combining them all together in this amazing four-time Academy Award winning film that you've got to experience in this absolutely gorgeous 4K Ultra HD release. This release by Warner Brothers was an amazing 4K restoration. And one of those westerns that even if you're not a huge fan of western films, this film needs to be seen by everybody. It'll make you get an appreciation for all of Western films before it. Honestly, it has so many nods to John Wayne, to previous things that Clint Eastwood did. Both Gene Hackman and Morgan Freeman are outstanding in this film, and I elevate this beyond just a regular Western genre film. Honestly, if you have not experienced this on 4K, you've gotta buy this 4K release and experience it because it is a stunning 90s film and a wonderful performance by everyone involved in this film. Now, another great 1991 comedy is The Addams Family. Barry Sonnenfeld did a great job with this film series. He actually did the second one as well, Addams Family Values. Now, I have heard that one's being planned for a future 4K release here from Paramount. I did previously review and deep dive into this with an exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison analysis. If you want to know all of the data about this 4K release, you want to check out my exclusive review here on this channel. But I absolutely love the film itself. Now in this set we got a unique thing because you get the theatrical cut and you get the unrated version all included in this 4K Ultra HD set. This is one of those films that has some great comedy and humor in it mixed together with gothic and kind of some slight horror things. Overall, this was a huge hit in the 90s and really holds up today that I really enjoy the film and I feel like a lot of the times when they try to do films like this, they become more tongue in cheek nowadays. Whereas in the 90s, they really just played it out and went with the gags and the humor in it and played it so well that you didn't feel it was as much tongue in cheek. Love this 90s film. If you haven't checked it out yet, make sure to check out my full review. This is one of those great films that really has a great feeling when you get done, you say to yourself, Man, I had a blast. All the characters in it, I know they're remaking it again. So there is a TV series and now they're actually making it into another film. But the original still holds a special place in my heart and that's why it earned it on this top 90s list. Now you can't talk 90s at all without talking about Don Simpson, Jerry Bruckheimer, and Michael Bay. Talk about a match made in heaven. Man, did they have amazing films in the 90s. There are so many of them that I wish were on 4K that I really hope that basically Disney, now that they've had a resurgence, starts working on. But without digressing into that, Bad Boys. Sony did an amazing job with their Bad Boys 4K release. Now this has Bad Boys 1 and 2. I personally love both films. First one though is the one that I absolutely love the best. I really think that Martin Lawrence, Will Smith are really funny together in it. And the action and the comedy, the humor, the explosions, and the practical effects work so well in Bad Boys that it still is a great action slick classic you gotta check out. This 4K release is a stunning 4K release. It has a beautiful native 4K transfer and an incredibly immersive Dolby Atmos audio mix. Sony, outstanding job they did with this. I absolutely love the Dolby Atmos mix, the explosions, the gunfire, feeling things all around you, overhead. 
The action in this really comes to life, even more so than I felt like it did originally in theaters, and that's maybe because it was so long ago. Now, watching it in this brand new 4K restoration with this brand new Dolby Atmos are a really surprising and enjoyable treat. I absolutely love this release. But Bad Boys, man, I absolutely love Michael Bay's films from the 90s that he did with Jerry Bruckheimer, Don Simpson. Man, I'm telling you, the three of them had some of the best action films in the 90s. Now, an amazing 1997 horror sci-fi film from Paul Anderson is Event Horizon. Now, I did an exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison review here on this channel, and I will tell you a lot of people weren't aware that reviewed it incorrectly, that on this 4K, it went back to the original intended correct aspect ratio. In my 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison, I show you the difference in the image. It is night and day. This is the first time it's got the original correct aspect ratio, let alone on 4K. This is one of those amazing 4K releases. Now it is getting a reprint in this limited edition steelbook again. I'll post that down below, kind of perfect timing, but this was one of those really creepy horror sci-fi films that the more you watch it, the more you appreciate it. The practical effects, the massive sets they built for this, are really incredible when you look at them and you see these sets that they built with so much intricate detail. Man, this film is creepy and great. I absolutely love it. This is one of those awesome steel books that has the hands with the eye and it kind of multiple does multiple things with it. Such a cool limited edition steel book. It is coming out in a one-time reprint from Paramount. So I'll post that down below, but in my original review, you gotta check that out. The differences between the images What's been changed in the aspect ratio, so you see, it is a night and day difference with what this 4K release did with this restoration. Amazing release, and what a great 1997 horror sci-fi film. Now, if you've followed me here on my channel for a while, you know that I cannot miss out on talking about Harrison Ford's Amazing The Fugitive. This is a reference quality 4K release that I reviewed here on this channel. I did an exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray that if you wanna know the full quality, the analysis, all the testing data, including its bitrate, you can check that out here on this YouTube channel. But I love The Fugitive because it's such an enjoyable thriller of Harrison Ford's character basically going on the run because he's framed for murder of his wife. And you're trying to figure out, did he murder his wife? Didn't he? Is he really guilty? Is he not? While all along, he's being hunted by the US Marshal, Tommy Lee Jones character, who is amazing in this as well. As I said, I do hope Warner Brothers will release the sequel to this because U.S. Marshals deserves a 4K restoration like this got. Dolby Atmos on this is reference quality as well. But the film is so slick and honestly has so many great things going for it. The soundtrack on it's great, man. I really enjoy the musical cues of what they had for this film. And Harrison Ford and Tommy Lee Jones playing off each other. What a great performance and I love how it builds to the ending. Such a big crescendo of everything falling into place, you figuring everything out. They just don't make films like they do this anymore. This is an amazing film from 1993. Must own, must buy, reference quality, 4K release. Must have this in your collection. 1992's Reservoir Dogs from Quentin Tarantino is one of those very stunningly impressive 4K releases. The native 4K image on it is a stunner compared to the dull, drab, washed out, and soft looking previous Blu-ray releases. But this film is one of those 90s films that was really underrated when it came out. A lot of people didn't understand it. It did not get the support it deserved. Now it has grown a massive, and let me say massive, cult following. It is widely understood as one of Quentin Tarantino's best films of all time. And it really is. Man, does it have such good performances of basically criminals having things gone wrong, a botched job and trying to figure it out, fix it, figure out how it went wrong, what went wrong, all mixed together in a great psychological thriller with some pretty darn bloody and graphic scenes in it. But overall, one of those unforgettable 90s films that has grown such a massive cult following that I think if people in the 90s would have understood it better, they would have enjoyed it as much as people enjoy it nowadays. This is a stunning must-own 4K release if you do not own it yet on 4K. You gotta buy this and check this out because it is one of those that you will be shocked at the image quality. Now, you can't talk about the 90s without talking about the amazing Ron Howard as a director. You've got Backdraft from 1991 and Apollo 13 from 1995 with Tom Hanks in it. Man, the supporting cast in both of these 
is amazing. It's a who's who of amazing actors. Kurt Russell, this is one of my favorite performances of Kurt Russell ever. I absolutely love Backdraft. Both of these stunning 4K releases are must-own, must-buy releases. They both have beautifully filmic native 4K transfers. You can see the film grain from beginning to end. They do look absolutely amazing and blow away the previous Blu-ray releases. And they both have very immersive DTS-X audio mixes that really do use all of your elements, your height channel, surrounds, they have some amazing LFE, and the films are amazing themselves. I love both of these films and could not do without either one of them. They really did show off how amazing of a director Ron Howard really was. I remember going to see Apollo 13. My whole family went to see this four times in theaters. We loved the film so much. Backdraft, another stunning classic. Actually, the fire effects. I remember going to the Universal ride. They used to have a Universal Studios. I always loved it. The fire always felt like it was gonna singe my eyebrows off though, but it really made me enjoy the film even more because the fire effects and practical effects they used in Backdraft are really just hold up well and look so good on this 4K transfer. Man, both of these films, if you have not watched these yet, Apollo 13 is an amazing historical film. And Backdraft is one of those, you've got to see what firefighters endure. And this is one of the best films about being a firefighter. Absolutely love both these films and these are must own, must buy 4K releases. Now one of my favorite Jim Carrey performances from 1998 is The Truman Show. This is one of those amazing 4K restorations that Paramount released. I did review it here on this channel with a 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison to let you know the exact quality and the changes of how they went back to the original so that way you could see everything you needed to in the actual film. It's all done in my exclusive review. I can tell you the Truman Show though. I loved how it was basically looking at the life of if somebody was recorded from the time they were a baby all the way till the time they grew up and they did not know they were on a reality TV series. And Jim Carrey's character basically starts to realize he's in a reality TV series and I always thought it was such a revelation of what would you feel like? And I loved putting myself in his shoes. That's why I feel like this film is so enjoyable. I liked thinking, what if I was in his shoes? What would it feel like if all of a sudden you realized everything you thought was real wasn't? The woman you're married to, she didn't really love you. She didn't even really care about you. Your friend, he wasn't your friend. He didn't know you. And really your whole world started to fall apart and crumble. Man, this film really gets me every time I watch it because I think to myself every time, what if that was me? What if all of your world started to fall apart? And it's done beautifully well in this film. And I really think Ed Harris as the director in this really does an amazing performance as well. Really selling the idea that he wants every shot to be amazing no matter what it's doing to basically Truman in the Truman Show. He doesn't care, he wants his show to be big. And I really think he does a good performance in it as well. If you have not checked out my review of this, you want to check out that here on this YouTube channel. It's available right now. Now, another film that was severely misunderstood when it was released on Blu-ray and now on 4K because of how the original director, Steven Spielberg, intentionally filmed it is Hook. Hook came out in 1991. A lot of reviewers didn't understand when this 4K was released that intentionally, going back to the original film elements, Steven Spielberg himself has talked about it numerous times. He intentionally filmed it on film with camera lenses and with filters to make it a softer appearance, to give it a more dreamlike Peter Pan universe. Numerous scenes throughout the entire film are done this way intentionally. He wanted it to be diffused, very like kind of you're almost dreaming this whole thing. When it was released on 4K, a lot of reviewers gave this 4K release a bad score because they said, well, it doesn't have the sharpest detail compared to other 4Ks. That's never going to be the case because of how Steven Spielberg himself in 1991 filmed this and Steven Spielberg himself explained that. No matter how many times they go back and scan those original film elements, they are still going to have a softer appearance intentionally. Film grain is all nicely filmic and present on this. So they didn't DNR it or take it away, that's just how intentionally it looks. But I can tell you, this 4K release is the best way that Hook has ever looked or sounded. I absolutely love this release. It's one of my favorite Steven Spielberg films. And from the 90s, Robin Williams, Dustin Hoffman, absolutely great in this, Julia Roberts, so many who's who's of amazing 90s actors and actresses in this. Steven Spielberg really was at the top of his game when he released this film. And I love this film to this day. It's my favorite Peter Pan version ever released. 
Every Peter Pan they released since this has never lived up to what I feel like Hook truly was. And it's probably because I absolutely love Robin Williams. He was one of those actors that it really broke my heart when he died because he was so amazing and I love so many of his films. This is one of them and this is one of those must own, must buy 4K releases that a lot of the times I find reviewers don't know how the original film elements should be, which make a big difference when you're reviewing 4K restorations of older films. If you don't understand the way the original film was intentionally created to be, personally I don't think you should be reviewing any films that are being getting restorations, 4K releases, Blu-ray releases, because you're going to give them incorrect or wrong reviews or review scores. And I see a lot of that in the industry. It breaks my heart because really there's too many people that just want to be reviewers out there. Hey, this looks bad. This looks good. They have no clue what they're talking about because they'll talk about something saying, hey, this looks soft, but it has film grain, but it looks soft. I gave it a horrible review score. Well, the problem is, is if the original film element intentionally has camera lenses and filters that give it a diffused or softer look intentionally, just like with optical shots, what it can do with optical shots, those will never change. That's not something wrong with the 4K restoration. And that's the case with this release. There were several reviewers that were completely wrong, had no clue what they were talking about because they did not understand what Steven Spielberg himself did with this film. This 4K release is a must buy, must own 4K release that you really need to experience this film. I love it. Sony did a good job with it. And Steven Spielberg, it's still one of those that touches my heart every time I watch it. Best version of Peter Pan for me that I've ever enjoyed. Now, you can't talk Steven Spielberg without some of his best, Jurassic Park and Jurassic Park Lost World. Jurassic Park came out in 1993, and The Lost World was 1997. Both of them were huge films. And I will tell you, I love all of the Jurassic Park films. Now, I do think Jurassic World, it's gone off slightly differently. I think the third one in that series really wrapped things up. I love them bringing back the original actors. But the original first one is my favorite of all time. It will always be that way because I remember going to see it in theaters and sitting there just awestruck by the dinosaurs and special and practical effects and all the things that he brought together with the amazing score on it, which is beautiful. I love listening to it. Really, they just don't make films. Even the Jurassic World are not nearly as good as the original one. If you haven't checked them out, these 4K releases are the best way to experience them. Another amazing Steven Spielberg film that was one of the top 90s films is Saving Private Ryan. This one came out in 1998. One of the best war films of all time. I really love how amazing of a World War II film it is. I can't even go through the cast. Tom Hanks is in it and hundreds, and I kid you not, hundreds of supporting cast of Who's Who, Vin Diesel's in it. I mean, I could go on all day. Really amazing film that just shows the horrors of World War II and what our troops went through and they gave their lives for freedom. If you haven't checked out my top war movies, that's another one in this video series where I talk about top movies, but that's specific to war movies. That's available right now here on this channel. I actually talk about Saving Private Ryan quite a bit more than that. But if you want to check out that one, that covers all war movies from all different eras, the top ones that fall into that, that are on 4K with stunning must-own 4K transfers. This is one of them. Another 90s Barry Sonnenfeld comedy sci-fi classic is Men in Black. Now, this obviously has Mr. Smith and Mr. Jones in it. I love the film. Obviously, Tommy Lee Jones, Will Smith's character, amazing. Love how they combined all the comedy with the sci-fi and the action. All the like CGI and practical effects with the puppets. I love all that blended together so well. This film though, this is the brand new 4K transfer that Sony released. This one is different than their previous 4K transfer. As Sony's been doing over the years, they go back and touch things up. This has the brand new Dolby Vision HDR transfer. This is the only way to own Men in Black, the original film with the brand new 4K transfer. It does look better and it does have a higher bit rate than the previous 4K transfer by quite a bit. You do notice a more stable image. The image does have less fluctuations and it does look better. This is the ultimate way to own and watch this film. I absolutely love it. This is the best 4K release. It's only available in this limited edition Steelbook set. They did not release this 4K transfer with the new Dolby Vision that is only available in this limited edition Steelbook set. It does not come in any of the combo sets. It doesn't come in any of the individual releases. This is it. If you're wanting a limited edition one, I'll put that directly down below. Now, Kevin Costner was huge in the 90s as well. 
He had a massive hit in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves from 1991. Now I did previously dive into and review this and give all my testing data and analysis on this limited edition 4K restoration by Arrow Video. This is a stunning 4K release of a great 90s film. This is the only release of it on 4K anywhere worldwide. I'll put the link down below. This is one of my favorite Robin Hood adaptations and it's such an enjoyable film. And honestly, this 4K release is the only way I ever suggest anyone watching this. But you can't talk Kevin Costner's 90s films without 1995's Waterworld. Now, this was technically considered a big miss. It made a ton of money, but a lot of people basically didn't understand it at the time and it got a lot of bad reviews. Now it's gotten a massive cult following. I actually find the more I watch the film, the more I enjoy it. I think the massive set pieces that they built for it, the massive amount of money they poured into this film, is pretty darn impressive. I enjoy the film. I think it's beautiful with the waterworks and everything. I did an exclusive 4K versus 4K image comparison for this release. This is one of those unique ones. It's gotten double dipped on 4K. This is the Arrow Video 4K release, and I own the previous Universal 4K release. In that exclusive video, I pulled the native data off of both 4K releases to show you which version you need to buy and must own on 4K. And I can tell you in that exclusive 4K versus 4K, there were some surprising results I uncovered. I can tell you I really enjoy this film and it is a massive 90s film that has gathered such a huge cult following that people now go to this film and say, man, I don't understand how in the 90s they didn't enjoy it because man, the massive set pieces are just impressive alone. The explosions, man, on 4K, they look absolutely gorgeous in this stunning 4K transfer. Now, it's important to remember, if you want to buy any of these releases that you've seen in this top 90s video, I've done the work for you and put the direct Amazon sale links as a pinned comment in the comment section right below this video. That takes me a ton of time and work to go out there and gather all the links together, but I do that for all of you to make it nice and easy for you, and it does help to support the creation of these videos just a tiny bit, but it never costs you, the viewer, anything extra. So that's important that if you want to buy any of these or add these to your collection, always use those direct Amazon sale links down there below and join my Collector's VIP Club. It only costs you a buck or two to join my Collector's VIP Club, but that's how I can continue to create all this content you enjoy watching here on my YouTube channel. I want to say huge shout out and thank you to every single one of you that have supported these videos by using those Amazon sale links down there below and joining my Collector's VIP Club. Every single one of you are amazing. I truly do appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I get to do something that I love and enjoy with all of you, sharing about all these movies and testing all of these for all of you. And I can only do it through your support. And I do really appreciate every single one of you. Now, keep in mind, I will have part two coming out here soon. This is only part one of the top 90s movies. And I can tell you there is a ton more amazing must own 4K releases from the 90s that we've got to talk about. That's going to be coming out in part two of this video series, so stay tuned here to my YouTube channel. That will be coming out soon here in the future. I hope you really enjoyed all of these amazing films we talked about today, and I hope you're excited for the next episode in this series. Because let me tell you, there are so many more that I've got to cover and talk to you about in the upcoming episode. As always, I truly hope all of you have a blessed day, and I've always got something new, early, exclusive, and exciting coming out very soon.